Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Today we are finally, finally, finally testing the Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation. This is the foundation review you all have been waiting for and I have been promising since two months. But finally I've got the time to film it. I'm going to run an 8 to 9 hour wear test in the sweltering summer heat of India. So wait till the end of the video to see if this actually is Mumbai summer proof foundation. Uh, I have some real first impression thoughts on this. I have already put it on my face. So uh, check for yourself. I've also tried a new highlighter. So I hope you enjoy all of it that's there in this video for you guys. Apart from that, what I want to also mention is that I found this foundation on Nykaa. I'm going to leave the link in the description. It is also available in all Nykaa stores. So if you want to match your perfect shade, you can go to the Nykaa store or Nykaa on trend store or a Nykaa Lux store. Apart from that, I'm not sponsored by Nykaa. So I will also leave the uh, link to Huda Beauty's blog post where she compares this foundation to the other foundation colors. Uh, the famous ones in the market like Fenty and MAC uh, and at the end of this video I will also tell you if this foundation is better than Fenty Beauty or better than MAC Studio I will give you all a proper comparison because I own both of those and this is in the same price range category so yeah I've mentioned everything else I will leave my foundation shade ranges also in the description so you all can compare and pick out your shade if you all do want to if you all feel it is worth it if it is 3000 rupee worth it if it is made for the mumbai heat keep watching <laughs> okay so let's get down to business let's try this foundation out finally it's in petty packaging if you all can see the sticker is right here this sh says the shade which is brown sugar for me that's what i feel uh this says express your selfie hashtag for filter and this is what the foundation bottle looks like i think the packaging is gorgeous it's matte um matte and ombre and it says Huda Beauty and it's plastic but it's a heavy plastic so I think it's very very travel friendly as well also it's got a pump so again very user friendly I think it's a very thought of a uh, person thought of packaging I feel that way okay so now let's just get down to business I know it's a very very full coverage foundation but I'm very scared for a lot of factors I'm scared if this is too uh, dry I'm scared if this is going to crack up over here because I have really dry patches over here that's why I've moisturized my skin really really well uh, I hope it does not break me out I have a pimple coming here I have some acne going on here I am just scared of all of these factors but we won't know till we try so let's get down to business I'm gonna take one full pump for this side of my face on my brush and one full pump on the sponge on this side let's see The consistency is so thick and creamy. Oh my god, look at the full coverage. The foundation color is perfect guys. It's spot on. So you can definitely pick brown sugar if you're 370 warm in Fenty Beauty, NC43.5 in MAC. I look like a different person. Look at this coverage. Oh my god, mind is blown. But I did see this on the internet. I'm just scared if it's cakey and stuff like that. This has a perfume scent to it. I think this is the reason it's breaking people out. It's a nice smell. It's a rose, lavender sort of chamomile smell but usually perfumes don't go well with people's skin. That's the reason maybe it's breaking people out. I just hope it doesn't break me out. I can't afford a breakout right now. A uh, one full pump covered my face properly but it didn't, I can't drag it very well down my neck. I also have a scar over here so I gotta cover it out. Um, I'm gonna take one more pump for my forehead and my neck. I look like an alien. I personally am a sponge person so I just hope this works with the sponge as well. This sets very quickly. So it sets so fast, it's tougher to blend on my forehead because I was blending on my neck. That's why I could not drag the foundation down because it's set where I put it. Okay, so where the foundation is concerned, I feel it's full coverage, definitely. It is a semi-matte finish, but I think Huda has promised that it will set to a powder matte. So I'm waiting for it to set. It sets pretty quickly, so it does not budge once you've put it. Um, it has covered all my blackness, my acne scarring. Uh, I feel like I should add a little underneath the eye so that I don't need a concealer. 
uh, I'm I usually don't add I don't know I'm confused should I add a concealer or should I add foundation slightly sinking into my fine lines over here yeah it is let's see the sponge side let's see if that's better if the sponge side is better then I'm definitely gonna go for that and then I'll correct the mistakes over here that the foundation is creating so again one pump let's see I think the sponge side is much, 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 much better to blend out. I'm such a sponge person. I don't think I try to use any foundation with a brush. I show you all in my reviews all foundation with both because I want to see people who prefer like my Fenty. Although I am a sponge person, I have to use it with a brush if I want full coverage. I also want to see if this matches up to my Fenty and my MAC uh, foundation because to be very honest, uh, I don't like the Fenty foundation that much how much the internet loves it. I am not a, such a big fan of Fenty. I feel like it's not made for the Indian market. Like it's not made for Indian skin or Indian weather. Uh, I may be wrong, it might work for some people. But I sweat a lot under that foundation and it kind of per like I perspire and then it kind of creates a film. It's not a very pretty picture when it comes to that foundation. I have not tried to mix it with many but I use it in my tutorials. I think the finish of uh, um, excuse me why is it not going in my nose creases I think I'll zoom you all and show you all the finish okay so this is the coverage on this brush side all my darkness my pimples my acne scars are hidden so I'm very impressed because most of the full coverage foundations try to sink into my scars and create a, a blackish dusky mess I think it's gorgeous for them my forehead acne is covered. Oh, I love the finish. It's not tacky at all. It's a powder matte. Um, the sponge side also I like but it has sheared the coverage a bit. Uh, this is more coverage. This is less coverage but I did notice I needed one pump with this and I needed two pumps with this. This could be because um, a sponge, I know it absorbs more product but while I was blending with this, the foundation set in so then I could not budge this foundation too much and then I had to take another pump. I think I'll add one more pump on the perimeters of my face and uh, I love the finish of this foundation guys. Okay, like I said, I think I'm just gonna add half a pump, not even one full pump uh, to just the perimeters of my face. One thing I'm noticing is with the sponge, this area near my nose is pretty dry and it does not take in foundation very easily. So if it's a liquid foundation, it sinks and uh, spreads and blends well. Since this is so creamy, it's not sinking into these uh, creases and blending there very well. I'll have to really go in with my finger or maybe a brush and blend there. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with the foundation, the base coverage. Let me do my full face makeup and get back to you all with my final thoughts because I feel like I do have some real time thoughts. Okay guys, so I'm done doing my full face makeup and my first impressions on this is that um, I love the finish of this foundation. I love how my skin looks uh, but my bronzer over here, it kind of applied a little patchy. Since it dries so matte, uh, it applies a little patchy, just a little. On the cheekbones, I didn't have that much of a problem. Um, this area isn't my favorite, like no other foundation does that to me. Like it's kind of emphasizing the hair on my face. Uh, I have forgotten to shave my face. So I usually take off all the hair on my face but I don't think every girl does that. Uh, not everybody likes to shave their face. So uh, the hair in this area is getting like slightly emphasized. Apart from that I really really do like my makeup. I think the rest of the makeup went really well on my face. I don't have any complaints. I'm going to try out this new Master Chrome. Uh, Maybelline highlighter also here with y'all because my highlight is missing and I feel kind of naked because of that so oh my god look at the pigment I just wanted to try it on screen since I was planning to use it anyway oh my god this is so blinding jeez I can't wait to compare this to the Nykaa highlighters I did promise y'all I will do that so I am super excited for that video as well because the Nykaa highlighters are right now my favorite and I feel like something's going to replace it. This was trending a lot abroad but I was waiting to try it out myself. I always wait to try out products myself. 
because of course I will have a different opinion uh, every youtuber will have a different opinion my opinion so far on this foundation is that I like it I will reach back to it now I'm gonna wear it for the rest of my day it is 3 30 p.m. Uh, I am gonna be back home really really late at 12 actually so if I can't check in through my DSLR I will check in through my phone and um, also I'm headed to the flea market in BKC I'm gonna vlog also so if you want to see how my foundation wears throughout the day you can go check out my flea market vlog which I think should be up before this video but apart from that uh, I hope you guys liked this review so far so good let me go ahead and see I I just hope this does not break me out throughout my day and my nose is kind of itchy right now the perfume in it kind of scared me but it's not smelling on my face let me check if I get any acne I will leave it in the description if while editing I break out in this process between shooting and editing this video and putting it out there I will leave the final thoughts in the description so always always check out the description box I hope you enjoyed I will be back for the last checkup but don't forget to hit the subscribe button till then let's hit 2000 subscribers very very soon we are at 1500 can you believe it oh my god okay fine let's go out now i'm gonna put on my shades oh do you know that i forgot to put primer y'all didn't even remind me how will y'all remind me but i forgot to put primer so this is gonna be a test without primer let's just see like my pores are not so big right now i am kind of in the face masking period so my pores are not so big but uh, let me give you all a zoom in, check in and then meet you at 12 in the night. I think this is breaking me out. This foundation. Yeah. It is breaking me out, you know? It looks good. But it's, the wasn't Hi. Hi guys, so I'm back at the end of my day. It's 12 o'clock in the night. I just wanted to give a quick check-in. The foundation's coverage is full proof. It did not budge throughout the day in the form of coverage. If I zoom you guys in, a little foundation has come off from my nose area and a very tiny bit from my mouth area. But was it a good experience having this foundation on in the sweltering summer heat of Mumbai? No. It was not a good experience at all in that way. I would not rate it. The challenge was not fulfilled because this foundation could not last in the summer heat it was so difficult because it's so full coverage and so thick the it's not thick as in cakey because it's not caked up anywhere but i felt throughout the day i could feel that there's something on my face i felt like i'm wearing foundation and i was perspiring so much through it that it was just not a pleasant experience wiping it all constantly so i felt like i was looking a crazy mess but now that i'm back at the end of the day and looking at myself in the mirror the foundation still looks very good so it looks beautiful on the skin but if you're in a banquet hall or at a wedding which there's air condition or maybe in a conference or something like that it's a good foundation but if you're planning to wear this and go out in this Mumbai heat no please this is not made for that uh, how do I read it as compared to my Fenty Beauty and my MAC foundation I think MAC is one of my favorite high-end foundations because it's fluid so you can uh, adjust the coverage it can go from sheer to full you know you can use a little and make it sheer this even if you use a little it does not spread very evenly you have to concentrate in that region only so it's a thicker consistency then I would rate the Huda because I love the finish of this and then I would rate the Fenty because the Fenty kind of oxidizes on me and I do not like the finish the Fenty foundation gives me. But all in all, if you ask me to choose a foundation for this summer heat, it's the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation. It's so lightweight and so comfortable on the skin. It's my favorite for this heat at least. And my favorite all-time foundation is also one of my favorites. Uh, and it just costs 1000 while these cost 3000 rupees and they are in that price range but if you're looking for a high-end foundation this is my honest honest opinion i hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions come a vlog also one more thing this new pimple i think the rumors are right this uh, this foundation does cause uh, acne because one has cropped up right away in my today's day so i was not ex 
like having this before I put on this makeup and I did a very good skincare maybe because I forgot primer I got that next time I'll try it with primer and update you guys on Instagram maybe so don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'm gonna sleep now because I'm very very tired I had an amazing day at the little flea if you guys haven't checked out the little flea vlog I'm gonna leave it in the description section so make sure you do I will see you guys in my next video until then please don't forget to subscribe leave a big thumbs up if you did actually like this video and uh, always leave your comments down below i'm always listening bye i love you all